Y'all yeah, see all that? All that water still down in there. And yuck, yuck. What up, dope people? Welcome back to Easy's Rebuilds. I'm Easy E. Have you seen the last video? We got the motor out of the Hyundai Sonata. And we showed y'all the throttle body full of water. In this video, y'all can see from the thumbnail that I'll be tearing down the flooded motor. Because it is aluminum, you know what I mean? So we're about to tear this down because that's scrap prices. But other than that, guys, we got to get this transmission separated because the transmission is good. Transmission is suck water up into it, obviously. So we got to get the transmission separated because I'm going to be keeping the transmission and keeping the alternator. We're keeping the everything. So we're just going to break the motor down and see how much more water is in this motor. Plus, I need the, I'm using the valve cover, the valve cover from this one, swapping over to the other one and the oil pan swapping over to the other one already got the oil pan off and that was a pain in my butt because they must have used some type of adhesive glue i don't know panel bond but it was hard to get off it wasn't no gasket sailor because that's easy to get off this stuff was super hard I had to use a chisel almost messed up the oil pan was thinking about buying another oil pan but i got the oil pan off using a little chisel Again, it's separated to the glue. Finally broke cold. But let's see what we're getting into. So in the time lapse, I got the whole wiring harness off. I know it's kind of dark in here. I'm inside the garage. Ain't no garage lights above me. But maybe I could cut on. Oh, they ain't gonna do nothing. But the whole wiring harness is over there. Pretty straightforward. We still got a lot of sensors and plugs and a lot of stuff to get off. So got the alternator and the starter off. But if y'all stand with me, y'all want to see what's in this intake. 
I'm looking it over now, seeing how you get the intake off. I know I'm about to take off these giant plugs that they got mounted on here. But pretty much everything is 10s, 10s and 12s. Valve cover is 10s. This intake might be 12s, but I gotta see how we get it off. So much stuff in the way. So much stuff. And obviously, to take off the valve cover, you gotta take off this little thingamajig, thingamajig which has gas in it because the cover actually goes around that. So I see how this works, because I do want this cover. I might ask why. Don't really need the cover, I just need the bolts out of the cover. But I'll be changing the, uh, still gotta get it off anyway. Gotta be changing the valve cover gasket on that one. I like to change gaskets, spark plugs, and everything while I get everything apart. I will order all gaskets, all spark plugs. And like I said, sit it all over there, all my gaskets, spark plugs, and stuff over there. But let me get back to ripping this motor apart. So we're still here making a mess. Got the intake off. I said it's full of water. Oh, let me grab a light. So yeah, I can see down into the valves. Wait, well, I grab a light. I got a light on my GoPro. But yeah, I can see down in there. I don't know how good y'all can see. But that white stuff down there, that's mold with water. Still got water in that chamber. That chamber seemed to be dry. That one is oily and wet. And that one is open. And dirty. These motors sure do get dirty up here, but yeah, she sucked up water. Dry, wet, dry, mold. And this the, I don't know what number this one is, but this the one that I seen water down in the valves, but well, water down in the cylinder. So maybe she just sucked water in the first cylinder, but all the cylinders seem to be a little wet and oily. I wish I, I ain't gonna take that motor apart to see what, see this stuff, but gonna do some engine treatment in the other motor since this one only got 127 on the miles, it's kind of dirty. Well, I removed everything from this side of the motor. The fuel rail, the injectors, the knock sensor and the oil pressure sensor, and the adapt and the oil adapter, oil filter adapter, and the starter, alternator. Y'all seen all that. 
and we got rust up in there. But won't be able to turn that because you can't turn the crank because the motor is locked up. So I'll have to pull the transmission off. With yeah, pull the transmission off, leaving the bell housing, the torque converter on the engine, and getting it off at another time. Put it back because we're keeping that transmission. So let's go jump, let's jump and see what about this water making a mess. And one thing I can say, clean your cooling up because this cooling is sweet. Some of it got in my mouth. I was about to lick my lips because that's how sweet it was. And I I'm like, oh, no, nope, this cooling. I ain't trying to kill myself by digesting coolant. And here's the intake. Oh, it's kind of heavy because it's full of water. Yep, dump the water out. Still more water in there, but I ain't about to try to dump. Got a motor on. Try to get it all, most of it out. There's still more water down in there. Y'all see all that? All that water still down in there. And yuck, yuck. I get it out later. Hopefully, I might clean it and reuse it. I'm not you. I'm not using this thing. And as I was taking it apart, y'all see me. I stopped because my hands were on the back end of the throttle body and touched all that nastiness. So that's what we're looking at with the intake. Oh, it's spilling out on the ground. Don't want that. Maybe I should just sit it up. But we're gonna get back. There we go. We're gonna get back to I don't know if it's possible, y'all let it's too many sensors going in there. But I don't know if it's possible to clean that all out and reuse it on a different car. Will it still work? So we got a vacuum line hooked up. Got it being full of water. I don't know, y'all let me know in the comment section below. But I'm about to get back to work, it's getting late. And I got other things to do.
What up though? It's the next day. And I'm still at it. Y'all seen I got the transmission off. That was kind of hard with uh torque converter bolts. End up cutting my thumb when it swiveled over like that when it released because it is heavy and full of transmission fluid. So it took some skin off my thumb when it did that. But we still at it. Gotta get all these little idle pulleys, tensional pulley off. Like we're breaking this whole motor down because this is cast aluminum. So I'll go. I don't know what the next step is. Because all these bolts are different. Some of them are 10s, some of them are 11s or 12s, some of them are 14s. Take the whole take the whole fuel pump off. This. I ain't gonna throw y'all in time. Let's get some of this taken off right now while y'all uh, view me doing it on the ground. Because as you see, it's, the, it's under a drip pan now. Came out this morning, oil everywhere. So I clean up all the oil, clean the garage door. Garage door had oil all on it. When I lifted it up, it was just dripping oil. Should have did this yesterday, put on up on the drip pan. So let's begin. Start by moving this bracket right here, which should be 14s. Oh, that one wasn't. That looks like it might be a 12. Like I said, the, this motor is a bit different. This one actually has this bracket on here. The other one is cast into the engine block or cover I wonder if I can change just change both the covers now that's too much work taking off all the accessories just to change the cover then you have to buy another cover another gasket so I can use that plate on the other motor I just use that the cast part that comes out So got those off. Go for, now I'm gonna go for the water pump. Should be 12. So you like five bolts and the X pattern. And watch out, you got some short ones and some long ones. So that's in the, that says X pattern. One, two, three, four, five. And you got three long and two short. Not exactly, I don't know which way, which ones go where. Because I wasn't paying attention. But we're going to keep all these. So the water pump is off, and that's aluminum. What else? What else? Can't. Well, I can't swing the motor around while we work on this. Like, does this whole side of the motor come off? Like, it's. It's like it's one whole bracket. That the tensioner goes on. Those should be 14. And I really do enjoy tearing this stuff apart. I don't see no more. I don't see nothing else that can be holding this on there. So I'm gonna grab a pry bar real quick. Oh yes, I do. I see one more. Like I stood up. Got one hitting. 
I didn't see that one down in there. I like to have stuff on me. Now let's pry this off. Ooh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Because it does have some keeper pins. Should have one keeper pin. And all this is aluminum right here. Or it's got two of them. So take off the whole, take off all those. Probably end up taking the pulleys off those anyway. I'm gonna take all the sensors out. Take the valve cover off and get this cover off. I ain't trying to make a super long video, but let's get all the ones on our 12s off. Cause this is the breakdown. Is that actually holding something? I don't know about that little shorty. Hit it with the now hit it with some tins. Valve cover. They all our tins on the valve cover. A lot of tins. And on the top of this is where you, your gas go in. Those are two more tins. So you know you gotta pop this piece off. But like oil and gas. I don't know what that part is. Y'all let me know in the comments below. I got two more tins up here. For that part and hopefully the valve cover comes off Probably. and that was my bad there's some, some hitting bolts up here one two three and four that I did not see was it paying attention because all the griming gunk that's in there from the car being underwater well not the whole car front end of the car being underwater so I'm over here chiseling for no reason. And all I do is take those bolts out the center. And voila. So yeah, see I actually chiseled the gasket and broke it into pieces. Thinking it was glue. And it's an actual gasket. But I didn't mess up the valve cover. I'm going to have to clean it, do what I do best, yep, clean it. I do got the kit to seal up all this so you don't get no oil into your, into your spark plugs. Motor look kind of good though. <clears throat> From what I can see,
But like I said, we tearing this apart. Getting into nitty gritty. Because this motor is locked up. And I've already told you. Let's remove all these 10 millimeters. Ain't nothing on the bottom. And that should do it for this. Make sure there ain't nothing else. Holding it together. You know, I gotta start checking now. I get the pride on stuff. And it don't break loose. Now I know this got some glue on it. Probably the same glue. Got that. And it got some pins in it. The same glue that they had on the other one. But this one also has pins in it. And pry areas where you can pry it at. Just gotta find them. Be easier. It was. Somebody got another pry bar. There's only one of me. I try to wiggle it off of that pin. Pin is right there. There we go, got that side off the pin. Now there's another pin on this side. Right here. So basically do the same thing. cover is off and this is aluminum everything's aluminum timing chain is still good but like I said we don't need none of this stuff So let me get back to work.
had to order to order us uh, more tools that's why i like doing these because i don't got all the tools necessary yet so on this let's take the head off this motor i already done stripped out a couple of bolts in there trying to use the tools that's not appropriate for this i need a triple i think it's a triple spline To get these off and I, I do have one but it's not for the impact so when i remove them and it's kind of hard with this motor not in the car to get those off because they are torqued down so i was using a regular my regular impact ones my star impact said i was able to get one broke loose but i messed up the other ones So I gave up and just ordered the right tool, which is one of these, but made for the impact. Triple square spline, I think this is. I got a set, but it's not for the impact. It does fit, but it won't fit the ones in the front. So I ordered, ordered the impact ones that are longer. And hopefully when they come in, I'll be able to get the head off the block. I have to drill those other ones out that I tore the teeth off of. And even these right here are spline, but these are the sockets. So I ordered some of these sockets. I was using a 17 millimeter star, uh, what, 12 point? The, yeah, 12, uh, 17 millimeter 12 point to grab onto these, but you have to be extra careful. I would run those off. So I, too, I do try to improvise sometimes, but sometimes I just can't. He's got to order the tools that's meant for the job. And like I say on these, this is 12, uh, triple, so I think tri triple square is fine. Now I do have some, but they're not the impact ones. So I have to order those. Because I'm going to be able to get those, I had to get the other ones up in here, these little bitty holes, because it's two up in there. So that one's stripped. That one's stripped, and that one is stripped. So hopefully I'll still be able to get the 12 spine on there when it come in. But all the other pieces are ripped apart. They go to cam. Now the other little special piece that sits up there. Don't know what that's for. All my parts. Garage is a mess. All the parts from this motor. I'm going to find somewhere to put it. But that's a wrap. So if y'all enjoyed this video, leave a comment in the comment section below. I got that all backwards. So if y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If y'all didn't, give me a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know how we did over here at Easy Ease Rebuilds. And, cause, and share this video on your social media with your friends, your family, your co-workers, if you would. It truly does help this channel out. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. We also take cash app donations. We have merch at teespring.com. We take donations of vehicles. It's all links in the description area below for your pleasure. To my TikTok, my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter. Whew. That's a lot to get out. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I re release a new video. And with all that said, stay tuned and stay blessed, people. Peace.